What's up, everybody? It's John, John Sports. I was coming at you with a brand new video. How's everyone doing today? Okay, this is, um, this video is going to be hopefully awesome. This is a, um, a really, really rare, rare, rare item. It's called Vintage Card Treasures. It came out in 2014, so about five years ago. Um, it's a limited edition series. It says only 25,000 boxes on the front here, but on the, on the stamp here on the side on the seal, it says box 2,218 out of 20. Oh, it is 2,500. Okay, great. I thought I said 2,600 for a second, 2,500. So that's good. Um, now inside here, we're going to find all kinds of vintage cards. Now, I've seen videos on these uh, being open. These are from probably a few years ago, these videos. Somebody found a 1960 Mickey Mantle card. Um, there have been other incredible pulls out of this. Um, I've seen Carly Stremski. I've seen um, Tony Gwynn. I've seen Ryan Sandberg rookie cards being pulled out of this. These cards are all like in really, really good shape. Um, now inside this box, you could find, a, uh, it says here, Mantle, Ruth, Cobb autographs. I, I highly doubt we're going to find those, but you never know. I did see one guy pull out that Mickey Mantle card. That was incredible. It kind of was what enticed me to purchase this. Um, actually my, my, my dad bought this for me as a gift. So thank you, Pop, for that. I appreciate it. He uh, loves these videos and loves when I find really awesome things. So, um, there's, uh, there are, um, let's see, 21 packs per box, seven cards per pack. And then on the back here, the odds are down here. Very hard to read. It's very, it's a black ink, but there are odds on this. Uh, 21 vintage card treasures, baseball packs in every box, seven vintage baseball cards from 1952 to 1983 in every pack. One Hall of Famer autograph or relic card in every box. Condition of the cards may vary from very good to mint. I've seen these cards. They've all been like really, they've been close to mint condition. Some have centering issues, things like that. But um, let's open this up and see what we find. I um, I always look and look for a really cool product to uh, to open up. If, you know, aside from the new stuff that we do <clears throat> here on the channel. But um, this is sealed. Everything's golden with this. I saw one guy open up one. Well, I think I, I, I don't think it was even the same company, but somebody was like kind of some company created a box and it was a total ripoff and he kind of got taken. I feel kind of bad for the guy. Um, let's get the seal open and we'll open these up. Let's see what's one go. We'll do it over here. Okay, there we go. Seal is officially broken. I got the hip bell over here just in case you find a hit. Okay, here we go. Here are the packs. Inside, so let's get these out of here. Hopefully we will get something really, really good. And what we'll do is um, we'll probably come back at the end and just I'll... Whatever cards we got out of here, I'll probably go and look on PSA to see what they will price out uh, graded. Then we can see if we have struck gold here or not. Now, I saw there are going to be commons from, from these years, too. But obviously, you know, if you get commons from, like, even, like, the 50s, that's still pretty good. Those can be kind of valuable. And, you know, collectors will still want them. And, um, okay, so here we go. Let's do the first one. Pack number one. Vintage card. Treasures is the pack. You see Clemente on here. Rich Jackson, Brett, Mantle. There's the back of the pack. And this is it. Let's go and start this out. Use the scissors because I don't want to damage anything here. Pack number one. Okay. So you can see the condition of these cards are not too bad. A little mark here, but these are, I mean, we're going to get some good stuff in here is my, is my guess. We already have one right here. So this is 
from our 79 or 78. 79 tops. Daryl Cheney. Awesome. Nolan Ryan here. Art Howell. Awesome. This is 82. Beautiful. Rick Ruschel. 78. Awesome. Pete Burnside. This is a really incredible card. What year is this one from? Um, does not say the year. I'll have to look this one up. 56. Maybe I'll have to look this one up. I'll have to see. Maybe 56 or 60. I'll have to look and see what year that one is. So I apologize. These older cards, I don't know very much about them at all. So, um... Obviously, my thing is 70s and 80s stuff, but when you start going back to the 60s and even in the 50s, gosh, I know a handful of the years, but not too many. So, I apologize if I make mistakes. And um, here's Larry Heisel. This is from uh, 81. Got a rookie's card here from, what is this, 77? Yep, 77. Bump, Bump Wills. Bump Wills is one of the only ones I know on here. And then you got Al Williams from 83 Tops. Picture from the Minnesota Twins. That's pack number one. Let's see pack number two. Not too bad. I've got a Ryan out of that. That's nice. These are all the way down. I do not want to cut these cards by mistake because that would stink. Bob Beal, Tommy John, nice, A3, Diego Segui, John uh, DeQuisto, A2 tops, Tony Perez, nice, beautiful card there, put that back here, put that aside, awesome, 74 tops. Bill Freehand. And the last one is Tony Soliata. The lost center there. This is from um, 1980. This is 80. Yes. 80 uh, tops. So that's pack number two. Got a Tony Perez out of it. That's not too bad at all. Let's check that one out real fast. Corners are pretty good on this one. Centering isn't too bad. Back is, is um, okay, so not too bad of a card. I'm sure we have that one upstairs already, but you never know. You might have a better centered one with this than what I have in the uh, collection upstairs in the archives, as we call them. Pack number three. Al Holland. Mike Tyson, not the Mike Tyson we all know. That's pretty cool though. All the all the cards I have from this year are kind of there's a few that are in good shape, but a lot of them are not. So anything I get out of this year is good. Doug Bird. Dennis Eckersley, nice. Beautiful card there. Lamar Hoyt. Not too bad. Mike Marshall. 75 tops. Beautiful. That is actually in really good shape, and the center is almost perfect on this card. Probably common, but I mean, look at that. The center in the back, I, and that's like almost 100%, and the front is almost 100%. We have a gem mint 10 here. We'll just put that aside just to see um, what the value is. I'm sure it's a common, so it probably won't be worth a ton of money, but. Paul Hartzell. I'll have to showcase all these years of tops that we have upstairs and see if I have the full sets or not. Um, they're not in binders. They're all in, in, in uh, large car boxes. 
I have them stored. Um, I don't really go through them too much. Um, I'm trying to just preserve them as best I possibly can. But uh, we should probably break those open at some point and show everybody because people have been asking here and there to show us the collection. So you got Dave Kingman. 83. Phil Garner, nice card there. Beautiful. Here's our hit. Awesome. Tony Gwynn. Ring a ding ding. Game use bat, diamond cuts, Fleer. Awesome. Nice. Not numbered or anything, but it's still a really cool relic to get. And it's Tony Gwynn from 2001, Fleer. Congratulations, you have received a card that contains a piece of an authentic game use bat used by Tony Gwynn. How about that? That is awesome. Cannot beat that. This is turning out to be a great box. Now, if we get something <laughs> unreal, I'll have a heart attack here on camera. And I'll forever be, uh, <laughs> be part of YouTube history. The first person to have a heart attack on camera. Uh, Tommy Boggs. And Junior Moore. My God, these cards are in tip-top shape, too. This was an awesome purchase. Thank you, Dad, for this. Okay, let's keep going here. We're only in the beginning. Look at this. This is what we've gotten so far. We'll be here for an hour. I might do this in two parts if it gets too long. Lance Parrish. Gorman Thomas, nice. Bob Robertson from 75 Tops, wow. Awesome, awesome. Centering's not too, is okay in the back. The front's pretty good. Still a great car, Bob Robertson. First baseman for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Back in the day, Mike Phillips. Tom Seaver. Incredible. Dickie Knowles. Davy Lopes. It's an awesome card, too. Beautiful. We'll stack here cards. To go through all these and see. I mean, even if it's a... You never know. Some of these players, even if it's a guy you never heard of before, sometimes these cards can be valuable if there's something that people really want. Like a collector might want them. Um, or then maybe it was a card that had some centering issues, but you get one that's... The centering is, is really good, and that can really just be an incredible thing to find. So you have to go through all these. Um, okay, come on. Pack, there we go. You're gonna cooperate with me. Okay, Pat Kelly, Rick Burleson. We've actually gotten this car, I think, in like a 2006 rack pack. 1973 Fireman, Mike Marshall, John Hiller. Cool. White Sox, but Tony La Russa is the manager here. Really awesome. Check that one out. Home run leaders, 77, Foster and Rice. This is a great pack, too. Unreal. Jerry White. Richie Zisk. Awesome card. Wow. All right. Okay, Royals team card. Pablo Torrealba. Ken Clay. Let's see a 68 possibly here. Bill Fahey. Ted Kubiak. His hair is flying out there. That's odd. Check that one out too. 68 is a 68. Yes, yeah, 68 tops. Awesome. Steve Carlton All-Star Car from 83. Beautiful. And Kenta Colby. Not too bad.
Jim Dwyer, Bob Locker. This is from 69. Picture for the White Sox. Ted Sizemore, Mike Schmidt. Clarence Gaston, Gaston, sorry. Tug McGraw. Larry Bradford. Lee Smith. Awesome. Jack Morris rookie card. How about that? Look at the condition of this. This is way better than the ones I have, but the only issue is, is the centering is off. But that's still really, really cool. Jack Morris rookie card. <clears throat> Mike Phillips. Cesar Tovar, awesome, 68, sorry, 69 tops. Common, but we're still going to check this one out. The condition is just unbelievable. Unreal, unreal. Jamie Quirk, <laughs> Raleigh Fingers, uh, this is 82. Bruce Suter, Raleigh Fingers, relievers card, unreal. And Wilbur Wood, Look at that. he had a crazy leg kick when he pitched. This old Chicago White Sox uniform suit. Bring those back. Bring those back. And the shorts. <laughs> the White Sox had shorts one, one year. I don't know how many games it lasted for, but somebody in the marketing department said, yeah, that's an awesome idea. Let's do shorts. Because, you know, it gets hot out there. And then I'm thinking, shorts? How could you do that? And then, you know, well, it didn't last very long. Shorts. <laughs> I'm sure sliding was not very much fun. I'm sure they had to have their some sort of socks up high. I don't know how they did it, but probably wasn't very much fun. Okay, Ron Reed. Steve Ontiveros. Eddie Murray, awesome, 83. Beautiful. Steve Motes. Ramon Hernandez. Fernando Arroyo and Larry Gura, All Star card. Wow. We got a lot more to go through here. So I'm hoping that we can pull this off and only make this 30 minutes, but you never ever know. Probably go over that. Stick around, keep watching because you never know what we're going to find here with this Vintage Cards Treasures box. It came in yesterday and I was looking at it. I'm like, should I do a video? And then I just got pretty late last night. I'm like, no, I'll wait. I'll do it today instead. Okay, Mike Moore. Elliot Maddox. Awesome card. Beautiful. Paul Moscow. Moscow. Willie McCovey, awesome. Larry Boa, 81 tops. Mike Bruhert and Chuck Hartenstein. Manny Sangian. Wow, look at that card. Awesome. 77 tops. Just cut badly or centered really awful on the back. Centering is awful on the back, but just the front is all is eh, not 100% either, though. It's just a great card. We'll look at that one. Rusty Staub. Le Grand Orange. Rusty Staub. Joe Rudy. Bobby Aspromonte. 68 tops. 
Third baseman for the Houston Astros. We'll check that card out. Jim Essien. Joe Torre, a little ding there. Still a pretty awesome card. Check that one out. And Rod Scurry rounds it out. Pitcher for a former reliever of the Pittsburgh Pirates passed away a few years ago. Recently, I can't remember the top of my head, but he unfortunately has left us. Rod Scurry. Okay, make sure we these corners open up here, otherwise it'll mess the cards. Okay, Buddy Salmon. Glenn Adams, Carl Yastrzemski, awesome, 82 Tops, Fred Holdsworth, Felix Milan, a little ding up here in the corner, not from me opening the pack, this was that way, very cool, 69 Tops, we actually got pulled an autograph car for him, um, second year card. Brian Clark and Steve Rogers rounds out the pack. Woody Fryman. Rob Dressler. Oscar Gamble. Seventy four tops. We actually just purchased this card on eBay. Probably saw the video. One of our mail day videos. So now we have two of these. And this is in really good shape. Well, actually the one we might have bought might be it's a little bit better shape. It's a little ding there. But still, awesome card. Jimmy Sexton. Paul Blair. Ozzy Smith, the Wiz. Third year card for him. He played on Walla Walla. <laughs> really cool. And Randy Elliott. Okay, we're down to the last pile here. One, two, three. Yep, last seven packs. Keep our fingers crossed. Sure, we're going to get some good cards out of here, but boy, wouldn't it be awesome if we got. Something massive, massive. We did get that Tony Gwynn relic. That's pretty, pretty cool. That's a pretty big one. We got this rookie picture so far. That's pretty good. The Ryan. Um, I'm gonna put. Oh, actually, we'll leave that there. A lot, big stack here of cards. We'll just put them there. Here's the the regular ones back here. They kind of. Let's do this. There we go. Now everything's in the picture. Okay, everything's in the screen here. <clears throat> Don Zimmer. Braves Future Stars. Rafael Romero, Terry Harper, and Ed Miller. Turn back the clock. Colbert Bell's five homers with 13 RBIs. Wow, 1972. The San Diego Padres. Luis Pulios, sorry. Ron Santo, really cool card. Awesome, big name. Third baseman. All-star selection, 60, uh, was it 68 or 68? 60, 68 or 69? 68, yeah, 68. Ron Santo, lost center, but still an awesome card. Very cool. Bump Wills. And this is actually kind of, I think this might be actually worth something. This Dutch Lander Walter Johnson card. I gotta look and see. The setting on this is pretty good. Pow, it goes right there. Make sure these are all not up top. Okay, John Denny. Oop, I saw Mel Stoudemire car. Wow. Rudy 
Maley, Mel Stottlemyre. Awesome. 1970 Tops. Beautiful card. Lost Center, but still really, really cool. Massive name. New York Yankees. Awesome. Awesome, awesome card. Put that one down here. Ron Reed. Reggie Jackson. And we had this card already, but this is a pretty good centered, pretty well centered card in the front. The back's okay, but this, we have a couple of these, I think. 82 tops. Paul Rocket and Bob Boone. Put that up here. That was a really, really good pack. They're all good packs, but there's been a couple that have been like primo. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gary Templeton. Bob Lacey. Mickey Lolich. Check that card out there. Jim Dwyer. Lamar Johnson. Johnny Bench, awesome card. Jim BT. Okay, getting to the end here. Record breakers run the floor and run Scott most stolen bases by teammates in a season 1980 before Tim Raines arrived. Mike Torres. Pete Daly, awesome. Another one. Let's see what year this is. This 60? Oh, what year is this? There's no year on it. And I don't know these older cards. 56? Gotta be 56. They're talking about 55. I'm thinking 56. Pete Daly. Awesome. We'll take this Ryan one. We'll put this one. We're running out of space here. Put Pete Daly back here. We'll do the switcheroo here. We'll do Gwen. We'll put Daly back here. So we can be with his buddy Pete Burnside. Okay. Doug DeSense is great players. Way off center card, but still pretty cool. Pete Rose. All star card. Ron Guidry and Steve Nicosia. All right. Randy Jones. Craig Swan. Jim Todd. Alan Trammell. Beautiful. We got another 70s card coming up here. Larry Heisel. Bruce Del Canton. Pittsburgh Pirates. 1970s. 1970s. Sorry, 1970s. 1970 tops. Ed Glenn. All right, last two packs. This was not just fun. This is a really awesome box. And um, if I have a chance to purchase this again, I think I will. So, these are kind of rare and hard to find. And they're just lucky to get one. Alan Ashby. Wayne Nordhagen. Larry McLaughlin. So, what is this, 73? Yep, 73. We've got some. I should know that. Uh, this year is the worst centering issues. In the Usually in the back. The front is actually, this one actually isn't too bad. Um, Robin Yount. Awesome. 83 tops. Steve uh, Foucault. Let's see, you see that. Gentleman's name there. Uh, Giants team card, 
Dave Bristol is the manager. And Don Baylor. Nice card. Lost center. Still pretty cool. We got a massive pile here. This is just. Yeah, I'm just I'm, I'm very happy with this box. So and I'm glad I was able to share it with you. Okay, the last pack. Maybe we'll get lucky and get something unreal out of this last one. Let's find out. Tom Underwood. 82 batting leaders. Al McCray, Dale Murphy, and Al Oliver. Nice. Cy Acosta. Acosta. 73 tops. Vic Carell. Mike Schmidt, all-star card. This is actually pretty valuable. Centering isn't bad. On the front, the back, eh, not too great, but okay. That's pretty cool. Mint. This would be in mint condition as far as the corners and things go. Clarence uh, Gaston. Did we already get this one? We might have got a double. How about the weird is that in this one too? Ron Reed. So, this is pretty awesome, I will have to say. I apologize for the long video, but hey, why am I apologizing? This is like just awesome stuff here. And if you love these kind of cards, you're going to watch this thing the whole way through. So we got some, I mean, the the, the cards in this pile are just mind-boggling. Tony Perez, Mike Schmidt, Cy Costa. Let's go through them. Um, Baylor, Younts, uh, McLaughlin, Del Canton, Alan Trammell, Ron Guidry, Rose, Bench, Lolich, Jackson, uh, this record holder is one I think is kind of sought after. Ron Santo, um, Don Zimmer, the 75s. I've got a few of those. Elliot Maddox, Robertson, Marshall, Ozzy Smith, Oscar Gamble, Felix Milan, Yastrzemski. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. And we're going to look these all up. And we'll maybe do a separate video because this is way too long. to just come back with a little recap of of what, what uh, ended up being... Um, you know, price-wise, what you know, valuable. This is the base, basic uh, cards here, but still probably some really good stuff in here. We've got Mel Stoudemire. You know, this the rookies uh, card from '78. With Jack Morris. Got these two. I think these are '56 of Pete Burnside, and um, and uh, Pete Daly. Sorry about that. And uh, what else did we get here? Uh, the Stolen Ryan pitching leaders card, and the last one was the relic we got. This would have been awesome if it was signed, it wouldn't have been really, really cool. Um, Tony Gwynn with the Tony Gwynn piece of his bat there, that's really, really cool. And we'll check that one out and see um, how that one's looking, too, as far as the value goes. Pretty much shaped, the corners are really, really good. So, there you go, that's it for today. That is the 2014 limited edition series, only 25,000 boxes of vintage card treasures. And I hope you enjoyed this. Leave your comments below. Tell me what you think of this box. Um, it was lots of fun to open. It's extremely rare. It's not, you know, in circulation anymore. So um, you got to look around and try to find these. But uh, when if you do, it's definitely worth it, and I'm probably we'll probably get one more of these if we can. So uh, because this was just just great, that's all I could say. It's really really cool. Um, that's it for today, folks. Hey, if you're not a subscriber, you like what you see, hit that subscribe button right down there. Thank you very much. Uh, please give us a thumbs up for this video. I don't know how you could not give this a thumbs up unless you're just a, not a nice person. We got a couple of those out there. Every video we put up, give us a thumbs down, which is really okay. What are you gonna do? But it's very disheartening to, to see that, you know. When I just try to present these videos and and show um, you the viewers, you know, cards that, that we that we get here, and um, so you know, give this a thumbs up, okay. And uh, comments below, please, and please share this video if you like. Hopefully, you love this. This is awesome. We'll probably do this again in the future. And uh, that's it for today, folks. Hey, thanks again for watching our video of the Vintage Cards Treasures box break from the uh, 2014 release. And uh, we didn't find a mantle in here, but we got a lot of really awesome things, though. So that all makes up for not finding, well, finding a mantle would have been incredible. <laughs>
<laughs> but this was incredible too. So that's all I can say. Hey, that's it for today, folks. This is John John Sports Card signing off. We'll see you all soon. What's up, everybody? John John Sports Card's coming back at you. Hey, a quick little recap of the uh, vintage cards treasures box that we opened up uh, from 2014, number uh, 2000, 218 out of 25,000. Got a lot of really, really good cards out of here. Some actually pretty valuable ones. So I went back. I don't have all the prices in front of me. What PSA would give uh, is great. But I did go through them. And there's just so many. I didn't write them all, any of them down. Be honest. Kind of give you kind of an idea on top of my head. Now this this pile right here. This little pile of Gary Templeton. These are basically nothing worth nothing. Or you know maybe a dollar, fifty cents, twenty five cents, depending on the year and whatnot. But that that was probably it's a pretty small stack. This one right here. Uh, I believe all these cards are have are listed in, in PSA's database. Um, some might be Jim Mint 10s, but they all range in price from like $12 all the way up to like 40 50 bucks. some of them. So um, I'll, we'll go through and see if any of these are worth sending in. We'll put them in the box, you know, the gigantic box of stuff that uh, we need to send out to PSA slowly because a lot of cards. Um, this stack right here, uh, again, these are these are uh, you know these have value to these cards too. PSA has them listed as well. Um, some of them are general commons, even these older ones from like '68, but they're you know they're mint, perfectly centered. Like this one looks like it is um, in the front at least. These can fetch a, a fair amount of money, you know. Um, so we're gonna look through these again under the light and see if there's anything valuable here that we can maybe send in. This little stack here, again, here's a Jack Morris one. That's that's actually worth um, a ton of money, uh, but it's off center. So we're probably send this in. This William McCovey, this is actually, uh, if this was 100% center, it'd probably worth about, um, I don't know if this had a question mark next to it. This might've been one they don't they don't have a 10 on, or maybe it was 700 bucks. Something like that. Dennis Eckersley. This is the one that there's a question mark on because there may not be an actual 10 out there because there's no value next to it, which means they're not sure. So that was nice to get that in there. And I think we might already have this. I'll double check our, our archives to see this Tom Seaver one. Uh, centering if it's a Jim and Tens worth about 100 bucks, And this Johnny Bench one, this has got some value to it too. The center of this is pretty good. Condition's pretty good. The back is a little off. So, um, and these last two, or the last three, uh, this Bruce Suter, Raleigh Fingers one, pretty valuable. Reggie Jackson, definitely valuable. Uh, and this, uh, Kali Stremski card is, um, one of the top cards from 82. So there you go, folks. That's it. I just want to do a little quick recap on these cards. This is definitely a good purchase. It was a total fun, um, box break to do. We'll probably get another one of these, you know, uh, with the hopes that we find something even bigger and better. But these are actually really, really good cards to pull out of here. They're all in primo shape. No complaints there. Even the ones that have no value really to them, they're still, you know, really good cards. So uh, I was very, very happy that we were able to share this with you. And that is it. A little recap of the 2014 Vintage Cards Treasures limited edition limited edition box here with 21 packs seven cards per pack and um out of out of print basically out of, uh, you know out of, out of circulation this box so that's it for today folks hey if you like like this video uh you can subscribe hit the where well, there's my finger right there hit the subscribe button right there give this video a thumbs up and uh put any comments down below um about these cards and uh share this video too as well that's it for today, folks. It's John John Sports Card signing off. We'll see y'all soon.